we did a drink and dash in Cancun and we didn't realize how dumb that was until after we did it. We're all like, we're literally in a different country. We can't be do doing this. Like if we get caught, we're gonna get sent to prison. Hey guys, wait, let me oh. put my phone away. Today we're filming a video, obviously. <laughs> my channel has just completely become lesbian, like videos. Um, Today I'm gonna be reading uh, Melanie, or telling her, mm. <laughs> Today I'm going to be telling Melanie some lesbian terms and we're gonna see if she can figure out what they mean and then I'm gonna tell her. So let's get started. So Melanie, the first term is gold star. Okay. Can you use it in a sentence? Shit. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, that girl's a gold star. <laughs> oh, hey, that girl's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> that girl's an A+. Plus. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah. no. Um, gold star is defined. It's an adjective. Gold star is a lesbian who has never had sex with a man. Oh, I was way off. U-Haul. U-Haul? Can you use that in a sentence? Fuck. Why do you want me to use these all in sentences? How am I supposed to know what these mean if they're not used in sentences? <laughs> you can guess. Okay, U-Haul. So what is a U-Haul? A truck? Exactly. Yeah, a big ass. <laughs> Did you see that girl's U-Haul? <laughs> Okay, so a U-Haul is when queer women become emotionally invested in a relationship very quickly and oftentimes move in together very fast. When you consider yourself a U-Haul? I don't know. I haven't moved in together with any. No, but... Would, would I? I don't know. I feel like you like people really fast. You're not wrong there. <laughs> Isabel is a U-Haul. Is that how you? Is that how you would say it? No. You're just you just get your. It's not a bad thing. You just get yeah. emotionally invested very. No, fast. that's true. That's true. Okay, so what's a lesbian? A lesbian? Yeah. A sexy lesbian. It's a <laughs> famous lesbian. Oh, like a celebrity lesbian. Like, yeah. See, is how you spell it. Oh, I thought it was ass. Oh, my favorite term. A pillow princess. A pillow princess. Someone who hogs the bed. <laughs> or someone who loves to be the baby spoon, the pillow princess. Someone who enjoys the receiving role in sex but doesn't like to give. So like oftentimes like they're uh, lying on the pillow and yeah. like the person's always going down <laughs> on them. But like they don't do that in return. You're a pillow princess? <laughs> so You're so to say, self I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. A lipstick lesbian. Okay, so this is me. A okay. lipstick lesbian? Mm -hmm. Um, a lesbian who's super girly. Yes, yes. <gasps> I thought I would be like, ding, 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 Lipstick lesbian is a feminine lesbian. Okay. A and they're like a snapback lesbian, so like the tomboy lesbian. A soft bush. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a tomboy Basically, lesbian. someone who presents mostly masculine but has some feminine traits, also a tomboy or a chapstick lesbian. Would Ruby Rose be a chapstick lesbian? Cause she's like very feminine, but like not, but like tomboy, but yeah. still really hot. No, yeah, that's true. Probably. I have the biggest crush on Ruby Rose, one hundred percent. Like I just started watching Orange Is the New. I'm in love with her. Okay, so a high femme, a lesbian who likes to get high. <laughs> A queer woman who presents extremely feminine. So kind of like high class. Because femme, I feel like that's a French word. So this kind of lesbian is like someone who you would never expect to be lesbian. Basically. Just so girly. Basically. Got it. Got it. Okay. 100 footer. 100 footer? Mm -hmm. 100 footer. She's really tall or she has big feet. Used to describe someone who appears so stereotypically queer that you can spot them from 100 feet away. Ah, okay. I like mine better. A doppelbanger. You ha okay? You have a specific type, and you only sleep with that person if they fit your type. Kind of close. So it's someone who's attracted to people who look just like them. I know someone <laughs> who literally like dates a girl that only looks like their mom. No, like really weird got married to someone that looks exactly like their mom. That makes me feel uncomfortable. I was close. I would like to thank Vampire Diaries for giving me a leg up on that one. I feel like I did really bad. I like got two right. 
one and a half. <laughs> well, thanks for informing me on all these lesbian terms. Of course, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you hated the video, give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe <laughs> for more videos, um, sometimes weekly, but most of the time not. Go trip over a knife. I mean, like, you get a gold star when you do something good in class. Like, if you get 100% on the test, you get a gold star.